A hiker who was re rescuing his seven-year-old nephew from water is seriously injured at Gunlock Falls in southern Utah. In fact, it is the second serious accident there in the past three days. Search and rescue crews say visitors continue to underestimate the power of the fast-moving water there. ABC 4's Katie Corrales has the story. Well, Washington County search and rescue crews say they wish they could tell every single person here at the falls to avoid going within 10 feet of the water. They say it may only look shin or knee deep, but it can sweep you off your feet. Emergency responders say a seven year old boy was playing in the water when moss on the rocks caused him to slip. Strong currents pulled him under the water. You're getting bounced over rocks into debris or going over the big cliffs which is a 60 foot drop into a boulder. Authorities say the boy was speeding towards an area called a strainer where debris traps people underwater. And had that uncle not gotten him out, there's a high probability he would have been stuck on that strainer and potentially drowned. Search and Rescue says most of the injuries are occurring near the top of the falls, where the water quickly increases speed and volume after passing through a gradient below. Hikers in the area say they're increasingly concerned with those still not taking extra precautions. They do dangerous things thinking that it's going to be like Disneyland and the worst happens. Emergency crews recommend avoiding the falls completely and keeping children in the slower moving pools. Washington County search and rescue crews say they've come out here five times in the past 20 days. They said luckily in a few weeks water levels should come down and these falls will disappear. In Gunlock, I'm Katie Corrales, ABC4 News.